Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlemagne's Adventure. It's seven days to die. Rawr. So, how are you all doing? I am doing great. What is going to happen today in this wonderful, great episode? Well, basically, it's the same stuff. We're we're getting close to our day 21. Well, it's day 17. I guess we're going to be day 18, which is the dog whore day. All right. And at the moment, I am trying to add some cobblestone here. Some cobblestone rocks to all of our, our wonderful places here. And to, I'm just trying to get ready for that day 21 horde, right? So, on our map here, 18, 19, 20. Oh, you know what? I think I'm getting my days confused here. Day 14, day 21, which means two days before day 19. Ah, we have a whole day. Why did I think the next day was the horde day? Yeah, why did I think this was the horde day? Oh, well, cool. So that means today will be... I, I figured we could hit up the clay area here and then drop it off. And then maybe I want to run to the bunker and kind of hit that up. Because we kind of didn't loot that properly. So yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. That's interesting. Maybe we'll walk down this road. We'll see. That means we can do a whole day of stuff. Right on. So you... You grab your drink and your tasty treats because it's going to be probably a long episode. And as far as multiplayer footage, well, that all depends on how much time I have for editing. All right, because <laughs> some people, I guess, say that I have lazy content out there. And so, yeah, so be it. This is my content. This is what I create. This is what I like to do. So if you like this stuff, then great. If not, well, hey, there's lots of other people to watch, right? I don't expect you to watch my stuff. It doesn't matter. This is my enjoyment that I get. You know, recording, commentating, playing. I don't know, it's just, it's my fun, right? So this is part of me enjoying these games that I play. I'm more than happy to play these games on my own and, you know, not record anything, but I don't know. I just think it's more fun to be able to post these up and potentially interact with somebody out there. Someone might put a comment on the video and, yeah, I don't know. It's it's been it's been interesting. It's been interesting. It's been neat to see just how you know how my channel has you gained subscribers over the course of time here ever since I've been doing kind of like regular videos. And so it's just interesting to see that. And it's interesting to see that even though I promote my brother's channel, I put his links up all the time in my videos. You know, he produces some great content, you know, probably better than me, I would say. You know, I always have a good time watching his stuff. I like the styles, you know, he puts into the videos, like the Mad Max videos that he was doing. Those were great. And it's just not enough viewership, right? You know, not enough eyeballs, you know, getting those you know, to that content. And, and I don't know why, right? It's just, it's just weird. So, yeah. And as far as the eyeballs I receive... How long do I have your eyeballs for? You know, like, do I, you know, do do people lose interest in me down the road, or you know, how many of my you know, 170 what five subscribers I'm at? 177 as of this recording, which is the May 26th, 2016. But yeah, as of this recording, it's just you know I've steadily climbed, right? I remember a time when I was first do YouTube three years ago now yeah I was looking up my first video when it was done in December and it was done I think 2013 so we're coming up to three years and that first video that I posted was about Minecraft 1.0 <laughs> so so yeah so that's kind of perspective on that it ooh, there's zombies it's a very cringe worthy video Wow, it's probably a little horde, but I'm not detected, so I am. Uh, at least, at least, I think I'm undetected. But wow. Wow, 
what is going on? Huh, that's pretty scary. That just stopped me in my tracks of whatever I was talking about. Craziness, craziness. So yeah, so anyways, I'm just going to carry on here. Uh, so we ran out of cobblestone rocks. So we definitely need to collect rocks. We definitely need to... Yeah, we're, we got a lot of work ahead of us, folks. A lot of work. So I'm going to do some inventory management here, and I'll meet you in the morning. Okay, so perfect. So it is now... Oh, boy. It's now daytime. I fed myself up. I'm all good to go. We are ready to head outside. Let's get our equipment all ready to go. Let's get our plant here. Put this in here. Need to keep those. We'll keep the seeds with us. We've got more small stones. Maybe we'll leave some here. We'll leave. We'll leave. Yeah, we'll leave a lot here. We'll leave the torches, and I think we're ready to rock and roll. So the goal today is to plant some more potatoes because we didn't replant those and collect a bunch of clay that is definitely a requirement of this this whole thing and we need to collect stones we need a bunch of stones so yeah that's the plan for today so we have these trees that we're going to chop down and replant that's definitely a project for the day 19 horde dog horde <laughs> i don't know why i was i was thinking you know, sooner, like day 18. Must have did my math wrong. Math isn't my strong suit, as you might have already, you know, known, or or as you might tell through these videos that I do. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So oh, is corn? Corn's almost ready to be picked. Excellent. So I'm gonna head back directly west. There should be some rocks. There's a rock here, and I'm just gonna hit these. I'm gonna head on over to the west, gonna hit clay deposit, gonna kinda work up some clay. I think you've all seen that in other videos, so I'm gonna probably save all of you from that and I shall meet you. I'll meet you at the clay deposit, maybe we'll do some more talking and yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, here we are, we're at this clay deposit here. I'm going to just terrorize this one deposit. If I can get all my clay through the one... Oh, come on. I want to punch this stuff. I don't want to pick it up. <laughs> if I can kind of get everything through this one deposit, then that would be beautiful. Because these clay deposits are just everywhere, right? So you can easily use your map. You can see it's all spread around here. And wherever there's these clay deposits, I notice that there's a good chance of picking up these rocks as well. So yeah, so... You know, just on to boring stuff, boring harvesting stuff. You know, as much as like kind of doing like a, a sped up time thing and kind of you know, watching what I'm doing, I don't know, that <laughs> as fun as that is to do and as fun as I like to you try and find a video or like a, a music choice for that video, I still end up, yeah, it's just, it's, it's a challenge. Again, I'm one of those lazy people making lazy content. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Not funny. Sorry, Lushable. I just have to bring it up because it just it bugs me. Ever since you told me that, it's just, I don't know, I was surprised, right? But eh, I guess you're right. Even if it is lazy content, that's what I do. That's what I do. It's what seems to be the in thing, right? It's, you know, you look at a few other YouTubers there that have, I feel, even worse content than what I would have, but yet they're up to a larger amount, like 80,000 plus subscribers. So I've seen there's something to this, right? This is part of, of the YouTube thing. I don't know. I guess people get different things out of YouTube. Like for me, I like to watch just a few people, you know, not really much, and I kind of go through phases, you know, depending on what kind of content that they produce, you know, what kind of content that comes out of it, you know, what they make, you know, like there's Etho I watch for, for Minecraft stuff, just so I can kind of keep with the Minecraft, so that's kind of where I'm at with that. And then, you know, potentially there's a few other people for Starmade, like 
the the Star Squadron squad, um, your crew, all those people. There are some very talented people a part of that, and you definitely watch all of their channels. That's uh, that's definitely you know look up the Star Made videos on my channel here, and the you know, most recent ones will be with on the Star Squadron server. So uh, speaking of that, I need to make another video of that. <laughs> Will I? Well, it's all dependent on my internet connection. I kind of, maybe I'll just go through it in here. I'll let you all you know, all of you know what kind of what's going on. But so basically, if you've noticed, uh, I've been trying to get the multiplayer footage um, into you injected into the Seven Days to Die footage. It's kind of what I started out doing, and if you notice, I might have trailed off with it a bit. Well, I got a ton of footage that's just ready to go right that I need to edit and lately in life it's been rather challenging try to to find the time or to try and find the time to to edit and so yeah you know, not to make excuses and all stuff you know YouTube isn't my primary job if that if that makes sense I don't make money from all this and I don't plan on making any money with it uh, the reason with that is I would need probably 100,000 plus subscribers, uh, which means that potentially I would do tutorials and I don't know, do a whole bunch of other videos that don't really interest me too much. You know, like I've seen people do a few tutorials on certain aspects, so like within StarMade, you know, like Gmodism has done some cool videos and, you know, those are just the people that I've watched that, you know, from all of that, you know, maybe there's other people to watch. But that's the thing with YouTube, right? You get, it's an interesting community. Uh, it's just an interesting group of people. and Yeah, and it just develops from there, right? So, it's very, very, very interesting. Yeah. But anyways, I'm just going to carry on here. And I shall return as soon as I have something interesting to say. Hoo-wee! Hoo-wee, look at that. There's a big horde coming. So I'm actually going to run this way. going to lead them away from the base because I don't need that right now <laughs> oh man so there was a little lag spike I had and yeah I guess that's what it was crazy I guess that's how you know as it gets closer to the, the next kind of day seven horde you kind of have that kind of happen right so that which is fine which is fine I'll just leave them away from the base that way they don't hit the base and then it doesn't matter to me <laughs> oh man that's pretty crazy pretty crazy so uh, what do I have what do I have Oop, wrong button so we have 1000 almost 2000 stone we have a lot of iron I did pick up some stuff and I don't know if I should have I'm gonna make some room here we got two three slots available okay that's not too shabby there we go you can kind of see them in the distance they're walking that way on that hill there so we ran far enough away they're kind of running alongside I think we were running towards them so we'll just make sure we kind of run in the opposite direction make them despawn and yeah and then they can just kind of wander away unless they come this way uh, do they see or is it the sound that they hear or are they going the other direction? Okay, cool. There's another rock back here, so this is the way I will go. Just so that way then they don't come by. <laughs> okay, so here we are back. Kind of changed my mind. I was going to go loot that place, but I don't know. I feel like kind of building up the defenses, so we're going to continue with that. And we'll loot that place after the day 19 horde. We'll do that on day 20. And then day... T I find you have to crouch to place is kind of weird but yeah I don't know I kind of don't feel s you know, like safe if that makes sense so I just need to establish the corners and then I'm kind of upgrading these corners as well as we're, mo we're moving along here and we still need to upgrade the rest of these spikes but I'm just gonna dump the steel into these corner ones because as we move them across along the corners they will definitely have to come across these, so let's see if I can get that one. Perfect. Okay, excellent. I guess I could continue placing these the whole way down, like this, and just 
yeah, just keep going. Let's see how far we can get done. So basically what we'll do is we'll just place them all the way along this way. There's some zombie corpses there to the left. Oh shit. Ooh, almost fell in there. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. Crazy, crazy. So let's see how far we can get with this. I should be able to do a whole strip here. Ah, oh, dang it. The height changes. So we'll, what we'll do is do this. Okay, and then we'll just upgrade until we run out of steel. Or steel, iron, not steel. And this is how we do it. It's as simple as this. <laughs> and it just takes time. We have to eject the stuff. Yeah, so that one took extra steel. And then we just have to back up. And we gotta be careful so we don't take up too much. Let me just kind of carry on with this. So I will come back as soon as something interesting occurs. Whoa, no, 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 no. There's a dog after me. And yeah, that's interesting. The pathing is kind of goofy. He almost ran into that bear. Where is he? There he is. He's walking away down there. I was off harvesting, mining, doing my own business. And yes. Because the dog came from somewhere. There's a, there's a zombie. Bye bye. Oh man, that's crazy, crazy, crazy. So I think we're about done. So. We might have not have gotten anything accomplished, but that is fine and dandy with me. But we did collect a lot of resources. We almost have 3,000 in stone. We have more more iron that we can kind of dump into the spikes. Not sure if the spikes are worth it. Well, they're always worth it, of course, right? But yeah, once. We'll be ready for that day 21 horde for sure. So basically day 19 would be the dog horde. We're going to kind of spend that around the base. And then day 20 we're going to loot. I think we're going to loot this bomb shelter and then explore that road a little bit. And then of course we do the day 21 horde. Uh, there's going to be an airdrop at some point in amongst all of this stuff here. That is a for sure thing. Uh, the reason I know that is because I can I can tell. It's been a while since I've seen one. We picked up that one airdrop that was that was you know that had the AK-47 stuff in it, which was just amazing. <laughs> so I'm I'm very appreciative of that because that will save my butt, right? And so then of course we need to check these here, make sure they're fully upgraded and repaired because obviously come on well, maybe that one doesn't need to be repaired yeah okay perfect okay excellent oh yes feel the power feel the power of the metal the metal power <laughs> I'm sorry that's just funny oh man so let's see let's do this this and these like so oh, man the height the height still kind of goofy can I reach that ah come on I guess we can place one down and that would get us closer ah, come on I don't want to fall in this sucks there we go okay and this one oh wait a second Okay, see, crouching you get a little bit extra range, so you know, that's definitely a little tippy tip. And I'm just going to carry on with this, so I'll tell you what, thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one, which will be day 19, which should be the day, the, the dog horde, the day 19 dog horde. So yeah, so you all have a great day, and I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye-bye. So here's a little bonus feature. So I'm almost done building the wall outside. So we definitely need to make some concrete. I think we need to use the forge. And I think that's where we need the stone. Be 
because um, cement, cement mix. We need to make this stuff, which uses stone, right? So we can make a maximum of 52, which isn't very much. It's basically five upgrades into concrete. So we're going to need a whole heck of a lot of these these stones smelted into here, which means we're going to have to turn this on. But now it's nighttime, and we're getting close, and so to the, the, the day 19 horde and yeah so this is bonus footage so let's kind of look at our skills we have 42 points available let's see what we can dump these into we want sexual tyrannosaurus since we have athletics 40 the next one is athletics 60 um, blunt weapons so the next upgrade for pummel peats would be 20 we're only at 9 so we got a long way to go for that right and for anything else we don't need this is how we can make the ammo for you know the nine millimeters I'm not gonna worry about that these I think oh you need more gunsmithing ah so we have to increase our gunsmithing not a big deal how about anything in here there's the minor 69er which stamina degradation decreases block damage increases hmm that might be a good one to purchase I know that we have to get quality Joe, but we need scavenging 30. We're at 23. Fast Eddie, we need scavenging 25. So that's 20 points. So we have 30 points. A better lead than dead. That's for rifles. We have a pistol. Uh, shotguns. We're kind of we're kind of working on shotguns. This might be a good one. And then there's treasure hunter. Haven't found any treasure yet. So I'm gonna get. I'm gonna you buy one of these. I'm gonna buy her, you know, was it minor 69er? Because that will be useful. And we can already buy the next one, so that will happen next. So yeah. So thank you everybody. Bye bye.